oh, I could probably get in trouble for that, can I? But it's so exhilarating. How can one resist? But sometimes I guess you got to take a chance. Now that's going to be stuck in your head. How about this gets stuck in your head? I am Paticus. And you're the Paticans. <laughs> Welcome to episode 56. Ha ha ha. Pick up sticks. Cue the music. I promised I'd be back, so I have to uphold the promise, right? I can't just say, I'll see you next week and be like, screw you, I'll see you in a month. No, I'm here. What motivated me? Well, it's not because my internet is down, and it's down, and that can suck. Oh, it can suck. I know some people would be like, I don't know what to do with myself because I can't watch the shows. Well, you know what? Go the fuck outside. Here it's only... Oh, my glasses on. Let me run. Okay, it's 14. It was minus two when I woke up. And it was 57 in the house. Because some dummy didn't do the wood stove right last night. That would be me. And I was like, oh, that's good enough. Well, apparently it wasn't good enough. Then you wake up to a house that's 57 degrees. We like to keep it at a nice 68. So, uh, yeah. That's fixed. Snow's been cleared. And I'm here for you, the people. So as I put some thought of over this podcast for the last, um, maybe it was 10 minutes, I thought about it. Actually, I thought about it all week. Really, to be honest. I mean, it's like... What do you, the listener, want to hear? And with all your feedback, hold on. You know, maybe let me dig into the mailbag. Let me let me pull out some emails that I've gotten and some texts that I've gotten and uh, some of those voice messages. Hold on. Okay, here. Let me start off with this one. Appreciate that. I can answer that question later. Let me move on to this next question. I mean, those are some real feelings there that I could touch on later, but I do have one more. Hailing from... Oh, they didn't say where they're from. I think I agree on that statement, and I appreciate the uh, voicemails there. I couldn't find the email. They must have went to spam, maybe. Oh, no, my inbox was empty. (laughs) I don't know why. (laughs) I don't even know how to check stats, but I know somebody's listening, because I do get feedback, so I appreciate it. (laughs) Shit. Whew. So what did I do this past week? That doesn't really matter so much, does it? It doesn't. What matters is, was I watching a movie? Did I do something new? Did I learn some stuff and everything else? Let's touch on learning stuff. I was listening to American Glutton Podcast, had Tom Keir, which is spelled K-I-E-R, Ethan Supley, you know from American History X, Butterfly Effect, Oh, uh, Motherless Brooklyn, which I haven't seen yet. Uh, Chance on Hulu. And many more. I still can't think of the Nicole Kidman Mountain movie because I haven't looked it up. Anyway, my point is he based his character on Chance D after Tom Keir. And this guy is pretty amazing. I just watched him smash a coconut with the palm of his hand yesterday. He also says, condition your hand, just don't think you can up and do that, because you will hurt your hand or fracture it. But the point I'm getting at here is he brought up something, and he calls it kill your clone, and I thought this was really cool. Every night at midnight, you have a fight, and it is to kill your clone. So basic principle and breaking it down. Today, I want to do something better 
than I did yesterday or learn something or improve myself. Therefore, I'll be killing my clone. Make sense? Do you get it? So by doing exercise, let's say I was doing 10 push-ups. I push it to do 11 or 12 today. Then I'm killing my clone. And I thought that was a good approach to taking things. So if you're not killing your clone, then your clone takes over and you just keep progressing as how you are. So there you go. That's some, some insight. But um, of course, I know I'm trying hard to get in the workout frame of mind without it being a workout by doing DDPY, which I mentioned a lot. And I also, there's another cool yoga program I just started. It's called Keep Yoga. You can get it on Android or Apple. And what's cool about that is they have short exercise yoga increments that you can do things. Some are 10 minutes in the morning. And 10 minutes is easy to break a chunk off and do. And you can just keep building upon that. I can actually, I couldn't do uh, sit cross-legged until, since I started this, probably 10 weeks now just doing all the stretching and stuff. It's probably taken me about 10 weeks to where I can sit cross-legged now, which that <laughs> I'm pretty happy. I'm not very flexible, and I used to be. And uh, that's I'm, I'm happy with that. And I'm learning to work on accountability. So the more people I tell, the more people that get excited, and the more people that can push me to go further and further and further and see what I can do. But yes, I'm enjoying the journey, plus healthy. I want to be healthy. So the hard, hardest part is going to be giving up some of these foods I really love that can really do some damage to, which, you know, it's, it's going to take a little bit of work and it doesn't happen overnight. And I'm not a two week person. Some people like start a new routine two weeks, boom, you're in, you're good. Not me. It took a long time and just keep pushing and pushing so that I could take better care of my teeth. So that was I'm pretty excited. You're like, wow, you brush your teeth. Yes, every night, brush and floss. Just two times a day. Don't start. So I merely talk about all the working out and stuff here because I feel that it holds me accountable. Do you work out? I'm okay if you don't. I'm okay with anything that you do as long as you're happy. If you're not happy, then make the change. And you can make the change. Some people make excuses. Well, then you're not ready because you're where you want to be right now at this moment. So there you go. You're the one who can make the change. I'm no self-help talker person here. Nope. That being said, I'm going to work on my train of thought here. Remember where I was. Think about it. Think about it. Where were you? Well, I could tell you about a cool shirt I just got. And I, I like it when you order something and it's pre-ordered and it shows up sooner than you expect it because I didn't even get a notification saying it shipped. But it's a cool shirt from Veil vale Solutions and it says die then quit <laughs> so simple now i'm like why didn't i think of that i think it's a cool slogan it's pretty much like wow i i just can't seem to diet we'll take the fork and put it back in the drawer and close the drawer of course it's not always that simple right and i i don't want to die i'm just i think it's a cool slogan sorry about that had to take a call from a lit nope not a listener Yes, you, you can call me. Leave messages. I'll play them on the air. Unless you don't want it played on the air, then say don't play it on the air. But that's what I'm talking about. I don't have any new coffee to talk about this week, but I would like to talk about Thrasher Coffee. I, I do enjoy their coffee, but I kind of paused my auto delivery and everything because I find it annoying, and they fixed it. And I think that's amazing. So it's not really a dick. But they put the coffee in an envelope and then mail it. And then it gets, it's flat as a pancake when it shows up. Some of you are like, just put it in a container. Well, um, then doesn't that, uh, hold on, I got a cough. Let me pause you. Then if you put it in a container, then you need all these containers. Plus, it's a nice looking bag. Why wouldn't I display it? But anyway. They were cool. This is the second time it's happened. They sent me a fresh bag, boxed up, and it looks beautiful. Just, I got some quirkiness. But yeah, check out Thrasher Coffee. Some great blends and so forth. Also, if you're interested in Black Rifle Coffee, uh, I don't know if it's on my website, but I don't know. If you want the code, I can give you a code, get you 20% off. 
And also Death Wish has stuff like that too. And there's other stuff. Anyway, there's your coffee talk. Movie wise, I'll talk about in a second. I want to talk about something else that is helping my body. And I've only gone once. I got, um, the VA has given me or hooked me up. I don't know what you call it. It's part of my health care plan. But I found out I could get massage therapy for my left foot that has a failed tendon where all the bones slip down in it. Which, come to find out, this isn't a diagnosis yet, but if you want to, you can look it up. I might have Charco foot. I know it sounds cool, right? But it's not. Anyway, C-H-A-R-C-O-T foot. Then you can kind of see what my bones look like. But that's kind of what it looks like I have. Anyway, it was, I got cupping done on my foot and just deep tissue massage. And she actually got movement that I haven't had in the foot in a while, which it sort of started going back to not having movement. But again, it was my first time and amazing. So with acupuncture, massage therapy, and I think I'm in line for some chiropractic care too, uh, I'm hoping that I can get some movement back into this foot because the only thing that can seem to solve the issue is to use the bones together. And I think that's a bunch of bullshit. This is why I think that. I was just watching American Ninja Warrior a couple nights ago. The latest season's on Hulu if you're curious. One of the ninjas like just shattered the shit out of his ankle. I mean, they showed pictures of it stitched up and everything. It looked like a leathery, um, leather face made him a, a skin boot to put on. It was just downright gross. But they put his ankle back together. Okay, people, why can't they cut me open and put it all back together if this guy could shatter the bones and everything and all of that? Some might say, well, it's because you have a failed tendon. I don't know. Grow me a tendon and put it back. This I'm just confused with our health system and seeing the miraculous things that happen. And then yet I've got this going on. It's just frustrating. I've been dealing with it for several years and it's it's fairly annoying dealing with it. But it's not, you know, it doesn't affect my life like, oh, my God, I can't play basketball. For the record, I couldn't play basketball to get or run. Sorry, I don't mean to go on a tangent, but it's just weird. Some areas have amazing health care, and p- these people have fixed it. I-, I was annoyed, too, that the ortho guy just looked at my foot and the solution to to the pain. Stop walking. Oh, shit. Is that like put the fork away? Thanks. So, acupuncture, massage therapy, and I also think, I, I believe it, that the yoga I've been doing and the flexing has really helped. I have not been in pain. Because usually almost every day I'm in pain with my foot. I have not probably been in pain for three weeks now. Four weeks. I tossed the ankle brace over a year ago. And I still have orthotics and some shoes. But I haven't needed those as much. So something's going right. So I'm not I'm not going for surgery. No. Unless someone's like, we can repair all of that and put it all back together. Then I would think about it heavily. So yeah, it goes back to yoga. It's great for the mind, it's great for the body, flexibility, and all of that. Which I truly believe. Move all these joints and stuff that you'll get going. Ah, enough about health, right? You want to know what movie I watched? Well, I finally had the chance to go see The Gentleman. Holy cow. Wow. Guy Ritchie. I haven't seen all of his films. I've missed a few. But I really enjoy him, but I think he's had a couple that you know, weren't so good, possibly, from my understanding. I haven't seen, what was it, Arthur, King Arthur? The one with Charlie uh, Hunan? Anyway, I, I've heard mixed on that. It was it was neat, but not, I don't know. Just me. The Gentleman. Stellar cast. Amazing story. It, I, I, I'm speechless. It was just fucking fabulous. Everybody in it was amazing. There were some people in there like, oh, don't be bad, don't be bad. Oh, but you're so good as a bad person. That's great. Guy Ritchie still has it. And if you haven't seen it, go see it. If you like his films, go see it. It's, I I loved it. And um, it's kind of funny as I was sitting there at first, 
I kind of like a movie that makes you think, and it does make you think. And I'm sitting there going, ah, this is kind of hard to follow, and it's being told like a story. So when is the shoe going to drop? And then both shoes drop. I tell you. It's probably why I'm not a film reviewer person. Because I'd be like, did you see the, oh my God. (laughs) Yeah. Then, you know, there was that one seat. Yep. Mm Mm-hmm. This is the problems of talking to yourself, too. Wake up. So, the, so that's movies. Uh, have been watching a few shows on TV, but more so just American Ninja, the show called Strong, which was one season, Ultimate Beastmaster, just all of those those shows. Because, again, I find it fascinating. Oh, and the Titan game, which was kind of neat. There are some badass people out there that can do some badass things. And it's just amazing seeing these people come together and show what they can do. Because I look at that stuff and be like, wow, I would so just trip, fall, hit my face and be done. Because you got to practice it, of course. So reality shows. I know it's not totally real, but it's real. People are doing it. Also, if you've made it this far into the podcast, it's actually episode 55. I just just got ahead of myself there, so 56 will happen. Just the side note, or cliff, not a cliff note, little, you know, asterisk by that, and there is right down at the bottom of the page. Because I do get ahead of myself, and that happens quite often, and sometimes I'm behind myself while I'm still ahead of myself. So, you know, how about that? Funny thing, Google just released some apps. I'm sure there's other people who release apps and do this other stuff too. Uh, it's it's an app to show you how often you look at your phone. I opted to uh, not get that app because I really know I look at it way more than I probably should. But I'm always using it for work, photos, doing social posts, and reading. So it's... I. I'm sure I probably have like 27 hours logged in per day. That's I think that's possible. And it's funny because uh, Jonathan and Steven brought it up in Discord Accord's latest episode, how often Jonathan looks at his phone. I was pretty shocked. That's amazing. I think he said like an hour and 20 minutes for the whole day. That's crazy. Crazy. Which is cool too. I, I'm sure one day I could achieve that. I do look at it less while camping because, well, (laughs) there's no data connection most of the time. So I'm just using it as an extra camera because I do like the lens on it. I have the Pixel 4 XL. I do. I jumped. I got it when it was released. Before it was released. I don't know. Let's just see you in there. Oh, man. (sighs) Just get that good, yeah, flat. I think the lack of oxygen is, uh, I got some pretty crappy wood for our outdoor wood stove and I'm having trouble with it. It's like, I'm not going to burn this soggy, frozen, wet stuff. A little smoke in the lungs. Maybe on that note, I should wrap it up. Put another one in the can. (coughs) Number 55. I guess I'd do it weekly. It would have been 56. If you do the math, right? Isn't it? You carry the four divided by three. And, uh, oh, I uh, just started The uh, Pharmacist on Netflix. Interesting. I will admit, I think there's quite a few documentaries out there that sometimes I would just watch because the cinematography on those things is incredible. And the music. And then again, sometimes I just like a good story. And I don't like it to be too one-sided, even though probably 90% of them are anyway. But The Pharmacist on Netflix Check it out. I'm not going to tell you what it's about. You could just, just take it by the title. It's one of those days where you read the back of the VHS box and then watch the movie and go, wow, that was nothing. Like, oh, shoot. Where is, where is that thing I'm looking for? That's me, jumping in the car, fuck pants, that's right, get your coffee, grab your hoodie, roll on out, start your day, or your night, 
or start whatever, or go to bed. Do whatever. Ha ha. Ha ha. I'm done. I'm like, put another ship of the Bobby. Dumb, right? That's right. So, remember, go kill your clone. Have a great day. Hit me up. You know all the channels I'm on. Find them. Hit them up. Every single one. Later. Oh, one last thing. Currently, I can do three 10-second push-ups. I'm striving to do 10. So, why don't you tell me how many you can do? Or, nudge me. I need some encouragement. Encourage. There goes the Paticus. There goes the Paticus. There goes the Paticus. I am Paticus. Yeah.